Hey y'all. So, I've been teasing something else is new in the fish room. Well, here she is. Say hello to Bumblebee. Created a, taking one of the 10 gallons I should say, and I've turned it into a dart frog enclosure. So, anyway, let's discuss about it. We've got uh, dwarf palms, and you'll correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure, in the comments, because I just, I bought the plants from a local nursery, and they're for vivariums, so I don't know all their names. I mean, this isn't like my garden where I really got into it. I can tell you that that's Christmas moss. That's some pincushion moss out of the backyard. The dwarf palm... What's he up to? Oh, clearly he's feeding. Boom, nailed it. Okay, not sure what the others are. What I made this out of was spray foam. The entire side, back, the other side is all spray foam. And then what I simply did is I carved in notches for the plants to be put, and a few little holes and then painted the spray foam with a nice safe t uh, paint. The substrate is just cypress mulch. You can pick up really any place, but I got this from Petco. It's a little bit safer. The rocks I had in my 75 gallon discus tank. I grabbed some of them, moved them into here. It does have a false bottom as you can see. Mm, sorry about the glare. I don't know where that's coming from actually. Anyway, yeah, weird glare. False bottom, it's got a half inch of just pebbles underneath it. Then on top of that is the batting that you get from Hobby Lobby or your, well, wherever you're sewing is, it's for doing crocheting. And then on top of that, it's just simple weed barrier to allow the water to penetrate through, but not any of the substrate. Filled it up with one gallon of water and just keep the lid barely cracked open. I'll show you the lids actually. By the way, it's powered with a Hyger light. So, pretty simple, pretty easy. It's on a 24 hour cycle. The lid is a standard 10 gallon lid. Let me pull the light up real quick. There you go. Standard 10 gallon lid. And then where your center brace is, which is this part right here, the black and white, and your back part, which is the silver. I just put the, obviously put that one on the black part of it, the center divider, right here that allows your lid to flip. And then I took the kind of clearish plastic that's typically in the back and I cut it in sections and put more of the batting across it and weed barrier to allow for ventilation. And it took a little bit of playing around to get it correct where it wasn't continuously fogged up. The humidity typically runs on this tank at about 80% to 90%. Got to crack it. And when I do say crack it, I mean I just lift the lid up to where my finger can touch it and it allows for ventilation along the front to work itself down and around and into the back. Again, this is just a simple Hyger light. Did want to show you, I put one on the reef tank. That's a 10 gallon. Pretty dang good luck to me. Also added, well, of course, I've got to have my bubbles and really did good. There is a Melanaris wrasse in there. He doesn't hide very often. There he is. But anyway, back to the dark frog. So that's what one of the surprises is. The other one will be for another video, but let's give you a peek. Anybody want to take a guess what's in that tank? So, hope everybody has a wonderful day and hope you enjoyed this little surprise. I've got more dart frog tanks being built. Have a good day, everybody.